Okay, we're doing a outdoor tour here. We have the obvious um, blooms early on in the spring, but then there are some that are not so obvious. Well, the green, by the way, you see there, are those clumps, those are dr um, stars of Bethlehem. Here, they're not so obvious. Those are grape hyacinth that are in bloom now. And I'll show you some other interesting things. We see some of the daffodils across the yard. There's Mo looking at us. Hi, Mo. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> Best squirrel catcher around. This is a um, viola, uh, I'm sorry, um, violet, wild violet, which will be different colors depending on the shade they get. Here you see around the bend here some more of those beautiful grape hyacinth. Um, over here, an early bloomer. It's a type of wildflower. This actually came from flushing. And um, then we come back around over here, some more daffodils, some more of that flower, another daffodil. But here, over the corner, is periwinkle, which was moved here. Actually, there's one there, another bloom there, another one over there. Come back around here, there's one right there. There's a whole patch of periwinkle that was, we believe, was moved here from one of the uh, birds from next door. The periwinkle's growing next door. Come around the, the pond over there, you see the fish are all up very happy. And over here is one that I planted, which is a primrose, beautifully in bloom. I'll come back around here, show you one more thing. Oh, here's uh, all the daylily seedlings from this year. These were all moved out this morning and last night. And uh, here's an onion patch along with some other things we'll be growing that I worked on today. Um, Lucy put the onions in there. We'll have onions. This virtually produces onions year round. We have had onions whenever we have wanted, as long as the snow didn't cover them up. We only got a few inches of snow all, all winter. One other thing here. These, oh, these are a beautiful wildflower that you get close up to and you can see the bloom on those. They're very pretty patch of them. That plant there and that one over there in this daylily bed is a um, forget-me-not. I transplanted that. There's a columbine. It's doing very well that I started from seed. And in here we have a couple of pansies that came up from last year and I transplanted them into this bed which is virtually all mulch. So that's what the backyard is looking like here in this early spring everything is